Hey guys, welcome back to the Bearded Chokra. My name is Abhijit Bansali and welcome to the fifth episode of Hashtag Ingredients. Look, today's ingredient that we are going to talk about is that is sodium benzoate. This ingredient has come to me a lot of requests and you will know in the video why we are coming to you. It is a very controversial ingredient. There will be many news articles, many articles, blogs that you will see about it. But today I have got some real hardcore facts. Right from the Cancer Institute. So without wasting more time, first of all, we know how does sodium benzoate become sodium benzoate. It is basically a salt which is made out of benzoic acid and sodium hydroxide. Its alternate name, the E number, is that is E211. And if we talk about the function of function, then it is a preservative. It is an antimicrobial, antifungal. It mold ka prevention of mold in any product. Ke it is used in foods. सबसे ज़्यादा कोई भी जितने भी एसिडिक फूड्स होते हैं उसके अंदर ये यूज़ होता है जैसे कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स हो गए सोडास हो गए जैम्स हो गए देर आर सम चीज़ेस एस वेल उसके अंदर भी ये यूज़ होता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट पिकल्स के अंदर ये यूज़ होता है सो इट इज़ ऑलवेज़ फाउंड इन समथिंग विच एज एन एसिडिक फॉर्मुलेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस अगर हम कॉस्मेटिक्स के बारे में बात करें इट इज़ यूज in almost all cosmetics nowadays and now we'll talk about the safety of this particular ingredient Look, this ingredient it is generally regarded as safe even by the FDA so it is not that big of a problem this is a mild preservative but the thing is that here कुछ formulations होते हैं जहाँ पे vitamin C या ascorbic acid उन formulations के अंदर होता है उसके अंदर शायद से एक problem हो सकती है apart from this खाने की जितने भी चीजें हैं जैसे मैंने आपको बताया all the consumables that are there the drinks and the foods and everything जिसके अंदर sodium benzoate होता है over there it can be a slight issue if there is you know vitamin C in that particular formulation as I said with the cosmetics as well it is more of an issue in the consumables than in cosmetics, especially if that thing is in a plastic container. Ke andar hai. Actually, it can be unhealthy for your body in that particular situation. Now, if I talk about it on an overall aspect of things in cosmetics, it's not a really big issue because it serves the purpose of acting as a good preservative and acting as an anti-mold or an anti-fungal ingredient. Hai, but I'm again making this very clear. Aapko ingredients or formulation is very important to be aware of what are you buying, what are the active ingredients how is this particular product you know given to you is it in a very cheap plastic container is it in a cosmetic grade or a food grade plastic container how are you getting it, you have to go to that and with that now I will come to the biggest controversy is vitamin C and sodium benzoate many people have asked me about it and asked me now the thing is, it is a grey area. इसके ऊपर कोई भी conclusive evidence नहीं है. There is no conclusive research on human trials. Yes, sodium benzoate when mixed with ascorbic acid, it does release benzene. That is a fact. But ये कब करता है? Now there are a few criteria जो pass होने चाहिए तब जाके वो benzene बनता है. Number one, if it is a very acidic environment, जैसे carbonated drinks में होते हैं आपके soft drinks और jams के अंदर या फिर pickles के अंदर या dressings के अंदर, if that is the kind of thing, and if it is in a plastic container, the reason behind that is that plastic जो है, it allows for this reaction to happen between these two ingredients. It is a permeable material and that is why I hate consumables in plastics or all of these things I don't like apart from that if you have a suppose you bought a cold drink bottle that is in a plastic in a clear plastic already the reaction is happening at a slight minute level in that there is a very small amount of benzene already been made benzene is already in that product because of those two ingredients reacting with each other so if suppose you think that you have particular cold drink लिया हुआ है and you keep it out in the sun ऐसे ही आपने रखा हुआ है उस particular bottle को अगर आपने भी नहीं रखा अगर कोई shopkeeper है उसने घंटों तक उसे ऐसे ही रखा है if high heat और high temperature and light is hitting that plastic surface जिसके अंदर sodium benzoate और maybe ascorbic acid या some form of acid is also present in that particular formulation then yes benzene can be formed but usually in such cases you will only see consumables in consumables in cosmetics it's not really the case cosmetics usually come in opaque plastic containers and usually they are kept inside whatever you eat if you can see sodium benzoate then try to avoid it it might not be the correct choice for you guys 
but in cosmetics keep it in a dark cool place and you should be okay you should not have any problems unless and until uski formulation hi bahut kharab तरीके से की गई हो आफ्टर द फॉर्मुलेशन देव हीटेड इट अप टू अ वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर कुछ भी अगर वैसे तरीके का है डोंट यूज इट एंड स्टे अवे फ्रॉम सच कॉस्मेटिक्स एज वेल बट फॉर द मेजोरिटी पार्ट इट इज ओके एज फार एज कॉस्मेटिक्स आर कंसर्न ओनली थिंग इज अगर आपको सोडियम बेंजोइट बेस्ड कॉस्मेटिक्स कोई यूज कर रहे हैं ट्राई नॉट टू यूज इट एवरी सिंगल डे बस बाकी There is not a really really big problem with sodium benzoate. All in all, sodium benzoate is still in a grey area. जब तक कोई भी ठोस scientific literature, एक proper human based trial नहीं निकल के आता But it is always wise to avoid it as far as consumables are concerned at least. So guys, यही था आज का video. I hope you guys liked it. And आपको अगर ये sodium benzoate और vitamin C या sodium benzoate और ascorbic acid वाली जो confusion थी वो आई होप क्लियर हो चुकी होगी अभी तक एंड इफ यू गाइज हैव एनी मोर डाउट्स लीव दम इन द कॉमेंट्स डाउन बिलो पसंद आया वीडियो देन प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक बटन शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू द बीड छोकरा चैनल बेल आइकन दबाना ना भूलें सारे मेरे सोशल मीडिया लिंक्स आपको नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन के अंदर मिल जाएंगे एंड विद दैट सेट जब तक हम लोग अगली बार मिले बी ऑसम की पी बी एड ऑसम एंड आई मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन बाय